You've now been to both Belfast and Dublin in the course of three weeks. Are you, as a result of that, more hopeful about the future? Yes, I am more hopeful. Of course it would be foolish to try to put any time on this, and uh, I would be the last to underestimate the problems of dealing with terrorism completely. But I am more hopeful than I was. I think the security forces in the North have achieved a great deal in these last few months. I believe that, as I've said, what we've been talking about today in the security field will be valuable. And in the political field, although it may be slow, nevertheless, the Assembly has been elected. It's uh, working out its standing orders. It will debate them publicly. Then it will be ready for business. The party leaders are talking about forming the executive. This is progress. And I'm more hopeful than I was. Firmly committed ourselves to a Council of Ireland, I have put clearly to Mr. Heath the reasons why I believe it's essential, and the reasons why we believe here that it's essential to proceed to form a council <coughs> by discussions with the elected representatives in the North, with the two governments, the British and the Irish, and at the same time to hold discussions between the parties up there leading to the uh, formation of an executive. Uh, I believe that you have to move <coughs> as far as possible on all fronts uh, together in order to get conviction carried to both communities up there that the aim is to establish a situation in which people can work together. <laughs>